I want to talk about feet. So on your tile, here's one of my four by four tiles, you need something on the bottom that will hold it up a little bit. So um, there's going to be something on the bottom called feet that are going to protrude so that when it's sitting flat on something, it's lifted up off the ground a little bit. So here is an example of mine, and you should have watched in the demo video today about feet. So what I really want you to do, you know what feet are, it's gonna hold it up. We want it to stay steady still as we put it upright. Um, I want you to think about what kind of feet you want your tiles to have. You could put a different kind of feet on each tile, or you could do the same feet on um, all four of your tiles. So I just want you to start thinking about what that might look like. So I'm going to show you a couple different options and then I want you to kind of get creative and think about what you could do. So the biggest thing that we want to keep in mind is thickness. We really don't want our feet to be thicker than quarter of an inch. If the piece of clay that we're going to add for the foot is thicker than quarter of an inch, we want to make sure that we do something to make that uh, quarter of an inch thickness. So in my video, I talked about, um, okay, a big solid ball of clay. That is not something that we ever want on our project. We never want a big thick piece of clay. It could potentially explode in the kiln. So we always want to stick to right around that quarter of an inch thickness. So how do we make this into quarter inch thickness? So I could push my thumb into it. Okay, and then as I do that, you can see that my thickness, there's now a hollow area in there, and so my thickness all over is now right around quarter of an inch. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna tap, tap, tap that so it has a nice flat bottom. And then I think I'm also gonna tap, tap, tap this top part. Okay, so then I've got a nice flat area to slip and score and I could put one of those on each corner, okay? And then that would that would pick it up off the ground quite a bit, which is fine. Um, so maybe that's an option. Maybe I am going to roll a snake of clay. So I'm gonna wedge that in my hands a little bit. Roll a snake of clay. And maybe I'm going to do maybe a snake on each side, okay? So then you can imagine that would lift it up just a little bit, but that would work just fine. Maybe instead I'm gonna do just a little, I'm just gonna do the little snakes on each corner so maybe I'm gonna do a snake on each corner, okay? So we've got that one, we've got a snake on each corner, we've got the snake that takes up a whole side, okay? And then let's see, what else could we do? Um, you could do like I did here, okay? Maybe I'm just gonna Make a little circle of clay. It's about quarter of an inch thick. And you really wanna make sure that you have smoothed your feet really well in your hands before you go to attach them. Um, they're so little that when you attach them, it's gonna be difficult to get into the crevices. So really make sure you take the time to smooth and even your little feet before you attach. So I could do one of those on each corner and you can see that would pick it up off the table about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be on each corner. You could do here, 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 here. Um, you can see on mine, I did three. Um, you could do maybe some sort of a coil just in the middle. Uh, maybe you're gonna do a snake of clay 
that wraps around. Okay, but essentially the feet are gonna be anything that lift your tile up off the ground and keep it steady. Okay, so maybe we're gonna do a circle here. Okay, um, and that would obviously lift up off the ground. Obviously, I'm not slipping and scoring any of these right now. You would obviously, once you're ready to commit to your feet um, in my classroom, you would slip and score. But um, I want you to try to settle on um, what kind of foot you want or feet you want. This would be a foot, multiples would be feet. Um, and you would obviously want the same per tile, but then maybe you could have different ones per tile. Um, so what I wanna see in your assignment Dropbox, I want to see at least, and it's okay if you don't have a, a tile made, um, I want to see at least four different feet. I have five, that's fine if you have more. So four different options for feet, and then I want you to um, somehow circle or um, you know, point to in your picture the type of foot or feet that you think you are going to go with for your actual element and principal tile project in class.